Welcome to Wesley's channel, this is Wesley and it is Wesley's news. The device presented by Norman Sultan Afridi is claimed to produce electrical energy for free. I'm not promoting nor recommending any device at all. And all I do is just translate and evaluate the technology. We have typical two motor configuration that was presented by many people in the past. Some comments are in Polish, English and Russian. Some titles are in English and Russian. I would love to add a few more languages, however, it would be too long for that video. To still be interesting. Typowa konfiguracja dwóch silników, w którym czerwony silnik za pomocą koła pasowego i paska klinowego sprzężony jest z następnym kołem pasowym umieszczonym na stałe na kole zamachowym. Ważne jest zwrócić uwagę na wielkość koła pasowego na czerwonym silniku w stosunku do koła pasowego na kole zamachowym. To warunkuje przełożenie. Następnie drugie koło pasowe znajdujące się na kole zamachowym poprzez pasek klinowy napędza koło zamachowe podłączone do osi niebieskiego silnika. I ten silnik podłączony jest następnie do gniazdka wyjściowego zasilającego inne urządzenia. Krasny dwiżok через riemień krócić machawikom, a tu odkrócić sinim aporą. Dokatorowo podkrócona jest wygodna rozjetka. Wytu rozjetka wkrócała się lubuje na grosku. Please note that the size of the pulley on the red motor is about four times smaller than the pulley on the flywheel. The ring turn gives you ratio four to one. By simplification, it might not be correct. Every four rotation of red motor shaft equals four periods, producing one period at the flywheel in form of storage energy. The secondary pulley on the flywheel is one fourth smaller than the pulley on the blue motor. Second harmonics of 100 Hz could simply overlie fundamental frequency of 50 Hz between two motors, where phase difference is shifted either to maximum current or maximum voltage. That function could be easily handled by PCB board or variable frequency drive hidden in the box of the blue motor with lettering 220 volts on the top of the cover. Różnica wielkości kół pasowych powoduje różnicę częstotliwości napięcia na czerwonym i niebieskim silniku. Całkiem możliwe, że druga harmoniczna 100 Hz jest nałożona na podstawową, a różnica w fazie jest wykorzystana do uzyskania albo maksymalnego prądu, albo maksymalnego napięcia. Tą funkcję może wypełnić spokojny variable frequency drive, który może być ukryty w niebieskiej puszce z napisem 220 V. Electricity is being connected to the brake motor. Napięcie zostało podłączone do czerwonego motoru. No i dawajcie, pojechali. Remin to skozić, to nie perykryć fiszka. Pasek klinowy jest popuszczony, żeby nie spalić motoru. The belt is loosened up to not burn the motor due to the heavy load of the fiber. Trzeba chyba manually increase the acceleration. Rukuj pod tałki, wajt ma heavy. At some point he adjusts the pulley tension. Posle uskorenie fiksuje drimin. Po nabraniu obrotów naciąga pasek. This electrical outlet is connected only to the blue output motor and has no electricity on it, other than produced by rotation of the flywheel. Эта розетка подключена только к синему выходящему моторчику, а напряжение на ней происходит из-за оборотов махавика. Рух кола замахового спряженного с небесным синяком поводит появление на пенчина гнязка. За фильм конструктор пришелся за сильное червоное гусеника до того вошли белые гнязка. For that motor, there was till now powered from external energy source through the blue outlet is being disconnected. That motor is connected to the white outlet. White outlet is the outlet that is connected to the blue motor. And blue motor is the output motor of the device. By that white outlet is our output outlet that could be used to power any additional devices. And from now, phase, voltage and current dependency between red and the blue motor is established. From now, connection of any load such as power tools will affect both red and blue motor and the power temporarily stored in the flywheel. I się zwiszka w tym, że to krasny motorczyk popycha jak machawik, machawik popycha jak sini motorczyk, sini motorczyk działa jedno prażenie w rozjedzie, a w jednej rozjedzie podkłóci na pytanie krasnego motorczyka. Przy czym, tam jeszcze będą podkłócać wszystkie drugie tulsy i wiesy. 
Значит, все, что будет подключено, будет влиять на оба моторчика и маховик. И это, скажем, в скобках из создания динамической структуры, в которой напряжение, ток, импеданция зависит от внешнего веса подключенных устройств. А ведь это червоный щельник на пензаковый замок ОВ, который на пензане виски щельник, с которого высшего гнязда черпи на пинче червоный щельник с попотом. И в додатку до этого самого гнязда будем подлончать все эти наражения. Так что энергия смагазинована в коле замаховым на пинче и пронт в обу щельниках будет зависеть от импеданции и параметров довольного обтяжения, которое подлончим до гнязда. Франек, выключи вентилятор, бо на пинче спадло и за хвиле щельник сдыхнет. To byłoby objaśnienie zależności w tym dynamicznym systemie. W zaimesjaś tej dynamicznej systemu możemy obrazować frazę. Właśnie, wykluczy etat, wentylator, a to naprężenie upało. I już dwiżok poczty z dół. Air conditioner that was in the meantime connected to white outlet shows definitely 70 watts fan of that air conditioner working, but not necessary proof that cooling unit is working as there is a lack of frost or water vapor on the copper Isolated pipes shown in the video. Brak szronu lub też pary wodnej na miedzianki izolowanych rurach kondycjonera pozwala nam wątpić, że 1800 watów jest pobierane, ale definitywnie 70 watów wentylator pracuje. I z upotrzebujemy mocznicy 1870 watów kondycjonera, tylko 70 wat wentylator z tuku dob pracuje nad wszystkim ostatnim podsamieniem, jak nie szrona i przyznaków od pary wodnej wody na miednych izolerowanych trubach kondycjonera. So let's say we definitely know that we have 17 watts drawn by air condition unit and everything else is in question. No frost, nie ma szronu, nie tu szrona. Do not be so pessimistic yet. Even if everything says that law of conservation energy must be obeyed. There is more to come. Póki co powstrzymajcie swój sceptycyzm, dużo więcej jeszcze będzie powiedziane. Zdjeżdżycie sceptycyzm, na mnogo buszy jeszcze wskaż. Norman Sultan Afrili is doing very much unfortunate move. He disconnected air conditioner and attempted to connect supposedly light to the white outlet. He failed to turn camera to the light bulb connected to the end of that wire. By that, we might think about another scenario where some additional power source that is connected in series with the light bulb now is delivering additional energy to the white outlet. From the other hand, to defend Norman Sultan Afridi, we may say that we have seen just up to that point the device handling the load of air condition of 1870 watts, from which 70 watts is definitely proven. That would be sufficiently enough to see slowdown of the flywheel or stop of the flywheel during the time of that presentation. Ponieważ Norman Sultan Afridi nie pokazał nam żarówki podłączonej do końca tego przewodu, możemy pomyśleć, że tam jest dodatkowe źródło zasilania, szeregowo połączone z żarówką i następnie podłączone do białego gniazda, dostarczając dodatkową energię do urządzenia. Chociaż na obronę tego człowieka możemy powiedzieć, że do tej pory urządzenie ciągnęło air condition 1870 watów, z którym co najmniej 70 watów wentylator się kręcił. A to byłoby wystarczające, żeby spowodować zwolnienie obrotu po zamachowego. No i oczywiście żadnego zwolnienia obrotu nie zauważyliśmy. For short or momentary load fluctuation due to, for example, cutting a wood, Flywheel is sufficient enough to support with the amount of stored energy, but for longer of period of time, we would definitely see change of flywheel rotation. Lack of presence of any isolation transformer between the output and the load connected is somehow puzzling. W tyczenie maksimum od minuty i zmienienia oboru toka czy na gruszku kompensuje się mahawikom. No po prostu Wy dożny ciutko widzieć i zmienienie jego wieczorszej skorzy. I don't see any difference in light intensity after he changed the light source. Why did he do it? That happened right before he connected power tools. But don't go to the conclusion as of yet. Nie zauważyłem zmiany intensywności światła po zamianie źródła oświetlenia podłączonego do białego gniazdka. 
Po co on to w ogóle robi? No i opiat. Pośle zmienienia istocznika świata w białej rozetki, nie zmienienia siły świata. Tak zaczem mu to było nad. Duża ilość elektronarzędzi podłączonych jako obciążenie nie pokazuje siły urządzenia zasilającego, jako że silnik po rozruchu może pracować nawet na 1% jego nominalnej wartości. Connecting large amount of electrical power tools connected at the same time is not a proof of large power dissipation. Large current is only being used for the small fraction of time where each individual motor is brought up to the speed. After that, the drone energy could be as low as 1% of its nominal power, typically 3 to 10%. And again, that large need of current for 1 or 3 seconds is compensated by the energy stored in a flywheel. No miracles. Podключение количества электроприборов не является удостоверением употребления энергии, как после запуска они могут работать даже на 1% их номинальной мощности. И не думаю, что здесь батюшка Кирилл на своем Мерседесе с ВФСБшниками сзади какую-то специальную поддержку оказал. Чудес здесь пока еще нет, но надеемся. So now it is the time for some summary. The bed motor, at first powered by external power source, was used to accelerate and turn flywheel, storing energy in mechanical form. Then this one was turning shaft of blue motor, and blue motor was acting as generator, producing electrical current in the white outlet. And that white outlet is powering back the red motor as well. But that must be a reason that I have spent 45 hours of my time to create that video that looks like a complete nonsense. And that obviously must be a reason why Norman Sultan Afridi have built the device spending endless hours to make it work. However, for him, the answer is simple. Money. Money, money, money. At best, American dollars, as Russian rubles, looks like garbage, looks like garbage, and smell like shit. Not many Russians speak English, so I hope they will not understand it and will not become offended. Rezinik is associated with thinking, cognition and intellect. It is subdivided to logical, deductive, inductive, abductive, intuitive, and it is usually expressed in verbal form. That's why this man spent so much effort to advertise his contact information anywhere on this video, hoping that somebody will examine the device prior to deny it. And now that gentleman is pulling out the plug from the red motor and action of the device is ceased. And now there is a time to find some common ground, some analogy of this device and devices of Toriel Kapanat. Stay tuned. Как вы видите, человек отключил увилку с белой розетки, которая питает красный мотор, и все остановилось. И сейчас я попытаюсь найти аналогию этого устройства с устройствами Тарьела Капинаца. Человек отмочил в тычке, защищающим червоный мотор от белого гнязка, и все скажет, что За хиле спробую знать аналогию по между тем ужинзением и ужинзениями Тарьела Капинаца. During the past 50 years, there were so many of different concepts and devices showing two motors configuration. And we were looking at them, but we haven't been given a chance to examine any one of them. And sooner or later, all of them died away. So someone may ask, why am I still in here pounding over that concept? Gamma Manager KFT has discovered and harnessed a new source of energy. This technology, known as the EBM machine, or Energy by Motion machine, is a uniquely configured rotating machine using laminated steels and copper windings, similar in many ways to large commercial motors or generators in use today. The similarity, however, ends when one measures the combined electrical and heat output while being rotated through the magnetic field. A previously unknown source of energy, which exists in the magnetic field, is extracted and utilized 
due to its unusual geometry and high iron loss. These and other parameters enable existing EBM machines to consistently produce more than 40% excess sellable energy, a highly efficient and economical type of cogeneration system for electricity as well as heat and shaft power using electromagnetic fields as fuel. A prototype would be constructed and tested, and significant energy gains could be measured. The Gamma Laboratory Museum of odd-looking rotating devices represent but a few of the hundred or so prototype units built, tested, and discarded. The BB LEGO unit is the first true EBM machine a mere 150 kilograms, and though its output is measured in mere watts, it proved the technology as early as 1992. And I can recall from 1990-1992 the number of such assemblies made by different people during a time in thousands. Next to be designed and built was the C4 unit. The C4 unit was tested for well over 100,000 man-hours. Finally, the 15,000 kilogram EBM 720 unit was built in 2000. It consistently produces over 15 kilowatts of sellable energy, has been carefully set up to measure not only the electric output, but also the heat output. A simple and inexpensive drive motor connected to the shaft of the EBM machine is all that is required to begin operation. Once up to the operational speed, the drive unit is disengaged, and the system will require no further input power. Rumor has it all. Around 2012 there was no more information about EBM. One Canadian and two Hungarian sources told that they were paid to stay silent and disappear. It sounds too good to be true, but inventor John Christie is convinced his machine will change the world. So John basically was saying this machine can produce five times as much power as it consumes. Yes, it does. This one exactly as we see it, it does. And in fact it can produce more than that. Once kick-started from a battery, John and his partner Lou Britt say this prototype will run for years without stopping, generating 24 kilowatts of power a day. You don't get more revolutionary, I think. I mean, we're talking about something that has the capacity to change the way that the world produces its electric power. Basically, it's magnetic attraction and magnetic repulsion that provide the movement or the moment of the, of the motor. Lou is an electrician and John a businessman in Cairns in far north Queensland. The two unlikely inventors have been tinkering with their machine for six years. They've applied for an international patent and have been swamped by people wanting a piece of the action. Rumor has it all. Around 2012 available sources stated that company sold itself to China. No word whose money were involved and what happened with the technology afterwards. The company, however, was denied a patent. Geradezu eine Energierevolution könnte die Erfindung von Tariel Kabanaze bedeuten, wenn es stimmt, was er sagt. Kabanaze und seine Leute gehen davon aus, dass es eine alternative Energiequelle gibt, die sogenannte freie Energie um uns herum. Kabanaze behauptet, einen Weg gefunden zu haben, diese sonderbare Energiequelle nutzen zu können. Viele Physiker stellen das in Frage. Dieser Kasten hier ist das Wesentliche. In ihm steckt meine Schaltung. Von ihr ist abhängig, wie viel Strom wir bekommen. Jetzt ist es wenig, aber es kann unendlich vergrößert werden. Die 9-Volt-Batterie braucht man nur zum Starten, aber dann bekommt man so viel Energie, wie man will. Strom wird quasi aus dem Nichts erzeugt. Der Beweis steht allerdings aus, denn Kabanaze gibt sein Geheimnis für den ewigen Motor nicht preis. Er vertraut niemandem, aus Angst über den Tisch gezogen zu werden. Abstrus oder wahr? Hat Kabanaze unser Energieproblem in seinem Hinterhof bereits gelöst? Eines ist klar, die Georgier zelebrieren ihre Schöpferkraft. Kein Wunder, schon vor 7000 Jahren waren sie die Ersten, die der Menschheit reinen Wein einschenken. Und wer weiß, vielleicht schenken sie ja bald die wohl verblüffendste Erfindung des Jahrtausends. Unendliche Energie. None of Kapanase motor shafts was ever connected to the load. It was, however, coupled in few of them with another motor. Один из этих двух проводов может быть подключен к земле. Jeden z tych dwóch przewodów pozorujących zasilanie lampy może służyć jako zasilanie. Faction, that is served by motor coupled to Kapanaze generator, was then replaced by electronic circuitry, or impulse forming circuitry, that created two devices of Kapanaze, one he called electric or hydroelectric, and the other one electrostatic. We definitely know that Kapanaze devices need ground wire, or virtual ground, based on Capacitive reactors between the ground. Мы четко знаем, что все тарелы устройства нуждаются в заземлении или виртуальном заземлении через емкую связь. Именно по нашему физическому разрешению тарелы капитана потребуют уземления или виртуального уземления звукле, реализованное за помощью реактив компонентов LC. Second harmonic could be overlaid with the first one, and if required, phase shift for highest current or highest voltage. Even if that doesn't 
explain everything that's going on over there. We must remember energy cannot be created, not destroyed. It must come from somewhere and convert it to usable form of energy that we could utilize for free. Tariel Kapanazo was playing with motors like everybody else, and then at certain point he decided to mimic motor function for his devices with electronics. And that's how electrostatic concept of Tariel Kapanazo device was born. Tariel bawił się z silnikami do pewnego momentu, następnie spróbował zamienić funkcję motoru elektroniką i w taki sposób narodziło się elektrostatyczne urządzenie Tariel Kapanazo. When I visited Tariel in Tbilisi, Georgia, he was fighting with me to rather use device that utilize electric motor than just electrostatic device by itself. My understanding is that it was motivated he, that he had a lot of experience to connect significant load to the output of the device utilizing electrical motor. We don't have a place in this video to go further with that. Thank you very much. It is Wesley and this was Wesley's news. See you in the next video.